Seven giant killers go searching for trees to fell in newly opened timber country near Putty, New South Wales. The area is rich in southern blue gum and the harder iron bark. Previously, it has not been exploited because of the inaccessible nature of the country. A magnificent smooth barked bush giant is selected and the timber cutters go to work with speedy modern methods. This power driven chainsaw saves hours of back breaking axe swinging. Among the trees in this area, a girth of 18 feet is not uncommon. The six foot cutter bar goes through the wood like butter. An axeman drives in a wedge to keep the cut open and the saw is carefully guided so that the tree will fall in the proper direction. And another one. Hardy timber cutters win tons of wood urgently required for the construction of Australian homes. Another innovation makes easy work of difficult logging operations. Tractors and bulldozers work together. These powerful tractors make it now possible to obtain logs that would normally be passed over. Using the winch and a cable, a tractor gets a firm hold on the log and tows it through the bush to the roadway. A vast change from the old days of the straining bullock team. At the roadway, the logs are loaded on a truck. 20 tons is not considered abnormal. A little over a year ago, when the Murray brothers explored this area on foot, it had only occasionally been penetrated by forestry and survey parties. They have now built 17 miles of roadway, opening up rich stands of timber. But road building has been hazardous. It's a high rainfall area, and landslides can be only too frequent. With the logs on their way to the mill, the timber cutters can relax. Today it's been hot work in the beating sun. The truck completes its 75 miles haul to the mill on the Hawkesbury River. Cables bite into the soft bark as they grapple with the logs and drag them into the shed for cutting. The logs pass through batteries of vertical saw blades. The shortage of imported timber has been a great incentive to the local industry. All told, there are some 120,000 square miles of timber throughout the Commonwealth. These areas are meeting some of Australia's requirements. After being treated against borers and other wood pests, the timber is stacked. Blue gum is the main variety handled by this yard. It's a hard wood and is suitable for general housing purposes. Even where cottages appear to be brick built, the tile roof cannot go on without a solid wooden frame. From the outside of these splendid examples of modern architecture, little wood is in evidence, but it is an essential for floors, frames and fittings. Today, the easing of Australia's housing shortage partly depends on the hardy timber cutters who are opening up virgin country and conquering the giants of the bush.